my name is Kat Theo, and today we're going to get into how you can become a voiceover artist or at least be doing voiceovers to make some extra income on the side or as a full time job if that's what you want to do. I'm going to be going into exactly how I've done it in the past and how you can do it too. I did make a video maybe about eight months ago. You can check it out here if you haven't about different websites you can use to become a voiceover artist. In that video in particular, I was talking about more long term projects that have to do with like an audio book. So you're going to be recording for like 20 hours or 40 hours, something like this. Today, I'm going to be going into more bite size side jobs you can do when getting into voiceover work. So you can do this to on the side, but not like as a professional. Essentially, a voiceover artist is the person the voice behind a video or an audio book, something like that. So if you're doing an audio book, you're bringing a character to life, you're bringing the character's personality to the book, things like that. You can do voiceover work for commercials, for videos, for ads. Really, there's so many things, but essentially you're using your voice that, you know, you're born with to make money. A lot of time it's just pronunciation. It's emphasizing, it's articulating, and mostly anybody can do it if you dedicate the time to learn how it's done. In my last video, some of y'all were like, well, she didn't tell you that you need a studio. You need expensive equipment. You have to spend like a hundred hours just to film two minutes of audio. I'm going to tell you right now, you do not need expensive equipment. You do not need a studio and all of that. I have done it. I'm going to be putting in a video that I did voiceover work for an organization after this that you can listen to that I filmed with my iPhone, my iPhone. I'm not suggesting you use your iPhone if you're going to be doing this as an actual professional gig. However, you do not need to be a swimmer to swim. You do not need to be a runner to be able to run. And you definitely do not need to be a professional, the best voiceover artist to be able to do voiceovers. One website I'm going to be talking about that I've talked about a lot lately on my channel is Fiverr. Fiverr is kind of like the beginning peer to get started on with a lot of different things. You can use Fiverr to get little gigs. And this is exactly where I found my first voiceover gig when I did this. So originally I got paid to do the explainer video. It's like animation explainer video. And on top of that, they said they didn't want to pay an additional thousand dollars to get a voiceover artist. And I was like, well, I'll do it for like an additional 300. Just like throw me some money my way and I'll do it for you. I don't remember the exact amount they paid me, but they paid me additional just to use my voice as the voiceover. I'm so serious when I say you do not need a studio. You do not need anything crazy. It is always advantageous to you to always try the best that you can to have the best product. But not everybody out here is going to be a national company trying to get like commercial grade voiceover artists. A lot of people, they're just small organizations. It might be a small church. It might be a startup. It just might be a small business partner, just like you and me, who just needs somebody's voice. And it, it doesn't need to be this like crazy production. And I'm telling you, you do not need Need to have a crazy studio to do this. You can sit inside of your closet full of clothes. That's enough to dampen the echo or sit in your living room. As long as there's no echo, you can get a nice mic if you can afford to, and you can record these voiceovers for people. I'm telling you, I'm going to show you a video that I did it myself. All right, let's get into some of the websites that I like to use. The first website you can use is Fiverr. I will have a link for you in the description. As you can see, there are thousands of people who are becoming voiceover artists on Fiverr. You do not need to feel overwhelmed with the amount of people on Fiverr. I'll tell you why. Everyone's voice is different. I have a deeper, more sultry voice. Someone might be looking for somebody with that kind of voice. Someone might be looking for a higher pitch, more feminine voice. Someone might be looking for a stereotypical radio voice where you know it's super deep and very sexy you know what I'm talking about everyone has a different voice so that's how you're gonna set yourself different from the next person everyone has a different voice if you can do imitations then you'll have definitely advantages because you can change your voice stuff like that everyone is different so you don't need to feel overwhelmed some people have a British accent some people have American a southern accent Canadian Australian, all these different accents, foreign accent. You'd be surprised how many people are looking for that, for something. You can um, see how there's some people with lots of reviews or some people with no reviews. I mean, 
really the sky's the limit. Another one, if you wanna do short-term projects is with Upwork. I'm not gonna log into Upwork, but essentially it's the same thing as Fiverr, but people are gonna request jobs. You can put your profile up there as a voiceover artist and get different jobs. You can also filter and let people know that you do small gigs under five minutes, stuff like that, to make sure it's not gonna be like some crazy thing. Another one I talked about is ACX in my last video. So ACX essentially becoming a voiceover artist artists for people's books. So you're turning it into an audiobook. You're gonna be bringing a character to life. You're gonna have a lot more personality than maybe like a standard voiceover. So this one, you might have a lot more personality, much more influx in your voice than other things. But this one is gonna be a more long-term kind of job where you can get paid a lot more. And I will say that I did misspeak in my last video um, where I said, if you have like eight hours of recording, that's really probably probably only like 10 hours. If you have eight hours of a book to read, it's probably gonna be more like 16 hours because you're gonna see what things you don't like. You're gonna wanna re-record, you're gonna delete stuff, you're gonna do it again. And depending on if you're a perfectionist or not, it's gonna take probably double the time that it takes you know, you have to also edit it, stuff like that. ACX is great because it's connected to Amazon. It goes on Amazon, it goes on iTunes. I've used ACX to find my voiceover artist for my personal children's book. I really like them. And another website is voices.com. I'm gonna log in real quick. You're inside voices.com and you're going to click jobs. And you can see right off the bat, there are jobs for $1,000, $500, $150, $250, to 500. Here's another one for a thousand. They're actively, you know, hiring. And essentially you're just gonna reply to the job and apply, essentially. You can send them your past work, how you sound, things like that, your capabilities. There's just tons of, of work on here. And they have all kinds of things from more professional organizations and companies to, like I said, people just starting off, a church, a coffee shop, a school, things like that where you do not need to be like the most professional. And then once you get started and you, you know, you get your reviews, you've done a few under your belt, so you know what you're kind of doing, and then you can use the money to get a microphone that is much better, that's gonna improve your quality. Of course, with any job, you're gonna always wanna be improving yourself to become the best version of you that you can be, because once you do that, you can charge more. Once you're investing in actual technology for your business, you can, you know, charge more. When you're just using your iPhone, you can charge a little bit less because the only thing you're out is your time, right? I mean, if you use your iPhone, like I said, I'm not recommending it, but I'm saying I did that before and you can, it's possible people do it all the time, you know, but you're not gonna be charging a thousand dollars to do that. You're probably gonna be, you know, under. But once you have your reviews, you have your gigs, you can invest into a microphone. This one in particular is the Blue Snowball. Hopefully you like it. I will put a link in the description uh, for Amazon. It was, I think 60 bucks, maybe around there, 60 to 80 bucks. I will write it down here for you. This is all you need. You do not need a studio and be doing the most. Like you do not, you can, you can do the most, but you don't need to do the most, okay? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hopefully between all of these different resources, you can find something that works for you and you can start doing voiceovers today. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this with your in your thought process. You do not need to be a chef to be able to cook. You do not need to be a karate expert to karate chop someone in the face. And you do not need to be a professional voiceover artist to do voiceovers for people. All right, I'm gonna show you right now the video that I did. I will tell you, it's not a perfect video. It was from three years ago in 2018. There's lots of things that I wish I would have fixed and re-recorded and did over. I was using my iPhone. If you are a professional voiceover, you can tell it was filmed on an iPhone, but it's possible and they paid me hundreds of dollars to do this voiceover. It's possible, believe in yourself. Don't let people discourage you just because you have some people that are professional. Of course, you take pride in what you do and you know, you might get offended by somebody using their iPhone to make money to be a voiceover artist, but you know. This channel is, we're not knocking people's hustle. This is just a side hustle for you. Get out there. You are doing a service to a company. You're helping them out. So with no further ado, let's get into that video. Meet Jeremison. He grew up in San Diego. He didn't know he was experiencing symptoms of a mental health condition until it was almost too late. But Jeremison was never alone. 
actually one out of 10 young people experience a period of major depression. That is over 40 million Americans. As youth depression rates rise at staggering numbers, sufficient mental health treatments decrease. Before we can grow, we must first understand that depression is very serious. Depression is the number one cause of suicide anywhere. Actually, teen depression is quite common. Over 20% of teens develop depression before adulthood. But there is hope. There is treatment and a brighter future. With our team, Team Millennials, and your help, adolescents just like Jermison can get the mental help needed to a happy recovery. With your help, we will raise $5 million to go towards getting mental health care and education for teens all over the Silicon Valley area. Happy people have happy brains. I'm I'm in. in. How can I help? I'm glad you asked. Our project, Recycle for Recovery, has come to kick mental illness in the butt just by collecting and donating plastic bottles and cans. It's that simple. But with that alone, we'll make a huge difference. These plastic bottles will then be recycled for money that will be donated directly to the mental health awareness cause. Get even more involved by joining us on September 22nd for the National Alliance on Mental Illness Walk in San Jose, California. The funds will go to NAMI Santa Clara and NAMI San Mateo, where it will be used for mental health awareness, mental health education, true stories, and educating all the middle schools and high schools throughout the Silicon Valley. All you have to do is... 1. Gather your recyclables. 2. Contact us through email, Facebook, or Instagram. 3. We pick it up, take a picture with you, and you'll be on our website for your contribution. Make a difference in a team's life and donate a bottle today. So, what team are you on? Team Millennials. All right, well, there you go. That's the video I did for an organization locally here in in the United States of America. They were super happy. I was happy the way it turned out. And it was filmed in a closet with some clothes, with an iPhone. Shh, don't tell them that. You can do this too, get started. And then once you have some money saved up, if you can't afford to get a mic, get a mic after you get some, you know, gigs under your belt, things like that. If you're gonna be working on Fiverr, I do recommend you check out this video, which is how to make your first sale on Fiverr. So you're actually ranking on the algorithm. So you're actually being put on the first couple of pages instead of like, all the way on the 50th page, stuff like that. If you sign up with all of these websites, ACX, Voices, Upwork, Fiverr, there is no way that you will never get any kind of gig in voiceover because there are so many options for you. And if you find some more options out there, put them in the comments below and let's just help everyone out. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, it works. Woo. All right, we have 4K, we have an audio. I'm excited. All right, so today we're gonna be getting, oh, I'm rambling, I sound like a crazy person. If you're bringing the character, uh, I should have freaking scripted this. Hmm. I am so serious. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. I am, mm, sorry. <laughs> Gosh. Oh no. Come on. Right now. Really? So, oh. is this thing working? That's the video I did where, oh, ow. Jeez.